Right, well it's, it's five weeks after fish show and we're, we're back at uh, Afield again for this time it's for the Maven match this that I'm about to go and draw my peg ball very, 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 very shortly. Uh, unfortunately, my daft mate's not with me this time because he's been a bit useless with this one. He didn't get his finger out, but we've got him in a couple of weeks of golden reel, so we should be all right. But then we're going to have a quick pre talk at how we think it's going to be because uh, in the weeks leading up to it, it's been really warm. It's been, it's been quite strange. It went quite cold, cold, wet, and windy. It's been really, really warm the last week, and it's, it's sort of like gone back to summer fishing a lot of mugging, a lot of shallow fishing. Um, but then to turn things on its head, for this weekend, so we're now Friday night and the weather's changing, it's going to be really. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have sort of 20 mile an hour winds. It's going to be quite a wild one, which, um, from my not opinion, from my experience sort of thing, uh, at Afield, I think wild weather's a good thing. Every time I've been here and it's been a little bit nasty, a bit choppy, the water's getting turned over. It seems to make these fish have a feed. So I really do think tomorrow could potentially be a bit of a special match at the minute. Everyone's really excited. At the minute, I haven't got a clue where I want to be. I, I just want to be wherever the fish are. It's become that sort of venue, or it's fishing that way at the minute, that yeah there's favourite pegs obviously we'd like that, that grass bank on the islands a, a mega draw but there's been random pockets of fish all over the place so it's a really nice one that I'm actually going to put my hand in the bag and there's only a couple of pegs that I really don't fancy in a minute so it, it's looking good so my plan's dead simple there's one I'm going to have him tomorrow <laughs> my plan's dead simple tomorrow I'm hoping it's just going to be a short pollen bomb day looking at the weather it's going to be a case of keeping things as simple as possible but hopefully we're going to do another one of these videos in the morning and we'll elaborate a little bit more on sat on my peg but right now, I'm going to go draw myself a dolly and uh, a bit of luck. I can't be thinking out, I'll be that Bennett bloke as well. He's going to draw a flyer, isn't he? But yeah, hopefully, this time we can there. Uh, it might be our turn, but there's a few decent anglers to beat in this one. £60,000. Sixty, yes, wow. £60,000. We've been running qualifiers now for six months. And this is the final tomorrow. This is what we've all been running around the country for. We've all been working out to get into the final. And tomorrow is going to be another exciting day. Over to Andy, Callum, and Bob. And they're going to do the draw. Good luck, everybody. Wish you all the best. Thank you, Colin. Hello, Dylan. Thank you, Tom. Fantastic. I'll just get on with the draw. Right, and adjudicator to Bob, he has the 24 draw balls. If somebody wants to come and check these, they're more than welcome to. They're all there, I can assure you. Can we check the balls, please, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's only one to check. Bob's ball. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> right, we will put the balls into the bag. Callum is going to do a good it's shuffle good. around them. Yeah, yeah. They're all there. <laughs> and the first qualifier, which was held way back in March when we were all studying as winter gear still, and the 31st of March, it was at the Glebe Complex in Leicester. And the qualifier with £137, three ounces, Alan Robertshaw. Good luck, Alan. Has drawn peg number 10, which is permanent peg 23. He's the current Fishermania champion. He's a five times Maver match this finalist and the current Maver British pole champion, Andy Bennett. Good luck, Andy. Andy has drawn peg 23, which is permanent peg 61. Dave Bailey! <laughs> All the support for Dave this weekend. And here's his good luck charm. Here she is, Lump. Check a box. Here we go. And he has drawn peg number three, which is permanent peg five. Don't forget 10%. 10%. <laughs> he is the three times Fishermania champion. It's his eighth Maven match this final. It's Jamie Hughes. Well. Jamie has drawn peg at number 11, which is permanent peg at 25. Not far from where it was. We moved to the Glebe Fishery at the middle of August, qualifying with a weight of 200 pounds and 11 ounces. Is your current Port Dean Masters winner? Craig Edmonds, go on, Trick. Go on, Trick. Here he goes, Trick. This is the 
is it. Go on, the trick. Trick has drawn peg number nine, which is yeah. turning <laughs> peg 21. More than that one. Is it echo, please? And our last qualifier is the back here. Right, well we have drawn, what have I drawn? I've drawn peg 11, Fisher numbers, which is 25, which is actually about 10 foot away from the peg I was on in Fisher, which I'm not disappointed with it, to be honest. I'm quite happy with where I've drawn it. If you'd have asked me at the start where I wanted, I'd have said somewhere on the grass bank close to the island, which, you know I mean, it's Ayfield, that's where you always want to be. But no, I'm, I'm fairly happy. It's a little bit lively, the weather. It's, it's proper windy, and I think we're just on the, the start of it bouncing down. But weirdly, that makes it fish well here. So every time I've been here uh, and it's been well, nasty weather, if you're honest. It fished its nuts off. I mean, for whatever reason, these big fish that are in here, they like it a bit wild, which is dead similar to lots of venues all over the place. But yeah, I think it's potentially going to be a, a decent match. And I'm in an area where I think if it goes how I want it to, then maybe I can catch 120 to 130 pounds, which that, hopefully that'll put me in with a shout. But we'll see. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep it very, very simple for today. So we've got no waggler rods. Pretty much I've set a one shallow rig. It's all going to be a short pole. Maybe a bit of slightly longer pole, so to 13 metres, but I'm not sure yet, uh, and a bomb. But short pole and bomb are going to be my two main approach with maybe a bit of a bit of a long pole line, if I can hold it, if the wind lets me. But yeah, it's going to be about keeping things very simple today and being patient. So it's going to be not, not a lively match, it's going to be sort of a 20 fish, 20, 25 fish. If you can catch that on this, this sort of area of the lake, they're going to be sort of five pound a piece. I mean, on average, with a few big ones, a few smaller ones. And yeah, that, that should give me a chance of putting me right up there with a decent weight. So hopefully we're going to keep things staying nice and simple and we'll see how things go.
I ain't got nowhere near that. Honestly, I won't lie. I reckon I might sneak it under it. Yeah, yeah. That's fishing, mate. That's of course it is. Listen, you'll be back. Well done, brother. It's a great deal, isn't it? It's harder than I might do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the okay. Fifteen kilos two seven five. Fifteen kilos two seven five. Jamie Hughes, second way. Twenty kilos, mate. Fifteen. Twenty kilos. Forty pounds. Jay, you've got thirty-eight pounds that net. You just chuck back in. Well enough. You ten kilo overall. We can announce who the winner is. We don't think there's anybody else around the lake that can come anywhere near. So there's a massive crowd here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Watching what's going on. Guys, Jimmy. Don't stick it. You know what we do? I go in. Who I go in? Go for it. Slide on that. Can't get it. <laughs> 10 kilos and 75. 10 kilos and 75. 42 kilos, 500 grams. He needs 10 kilos. 10 kilos. Yeah, yeah. Ten kilo five yeah. Nice. He needs ten kilo five hundred. So, huh. you take the lead. What is it going to be, boy? Right? I don't know. Take the big one. 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 Take 14 kilos, 300, that gives him a grand total of 56 kilos, 800. Jamie Hughes currently in the lead. Thank you, Jamie Hughes, 56 kilos, 800. Jamie Hughes, 56 kilos, 800. Six pounds. 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 Six pounds.
I've got more fish yet. Seven pound difference. What, Jamie Sunday. Yeah. Come on, Jamie. Come on, Jamie. Come on, Jamie. Come on, Jamie. It's Craig Edmonds! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a champion. He goes on with £60,000. He goes on with that trophy, and I know how much this means to this bloke. £60,000 and the Maver match champion for this year. Ladies and gentlemen, he wins lots and lots of big matches. He's won fish all three times, but he really wanted this. He's one of the best men I've ever known. He's not just a fantastic angler, he's not just a fantastic champion, he's a fantastic man. And I want you to raise the roof for our new champion. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the 2019... Maybe my sixth champion, the one and only Jamie Hughes! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jamie Hughes! Match, match this final at Hayfield Lakes and somehow must be down to Andy's coaching no doubt I just managed to win that one which is, it's been it's been my goal for forever since match this was created that's been the match I want to win ever since coming so close so many times I, I, I can't believe I'm standing here with this little thing in me and the amount of times I've looked at this and that's a far in envy I suppose but to finally it's all gone my way I, I can't believe it. I've been so lucky I've just managed to win a match I've had um, 56 kilo I think just beating Craig on peg 9 Craig's already in 53 kilo which is a, a, a little bit closer than everyone thought but I had a feeling it was going to be close but oh, it, it's been horrific it's horribly nerve wracking but anyway luckily it's all done I've had a nice simple match almost like we talked about at the start I've caught a few short on pellets to begin with had a really good first hour probably caught 
25, no, 20 pounds short. And then my main plan was going along on the pole and it's just been a mess to be honest. It's been too windy and because I've tried to feed six mil pellets it's sort of 11 meters. They don't like want to go there with a the catapult so it's, been, it's just, it was a mess. So I've been that, fed a bomb line and the bomb has been, well the bomb's won the match from me. I've had a lovely simple down the bomb, uh, chucking single and double pellets over the top. Uh, and I've probably had about 25 carp for a nice day. I've had a, a little meltdown mid-match where I've seen a few fish swirling and due to the weather conditions at the start, I thought, I'm not going to set a waggle up. It's wild. There's no way in the world I'm going to be able to fish a waggler. And at 2 o'clock, everything changed. So I've had a little scramble while my rod's still in the water. Set a waggler rod up. Yeah, set it up. Rod's went round. I've landed that one. And I've had two fish on that waggler. And, and they've been what's one of them match this, which is, as I say, it's... I don't know what to do next now. This is what I've wanted for so many years and to win it, I, I can't believe it's happened. It's still, it, it's crazy. I'm still freezing. That water's so cold, Rich, isn't it? Proper freezing, honestly. It, but no, so thank you for anyone that's watched today. It, it's for all the nice comments and things like that. So yeah, we'll do it all again in two weeks time and it'll be me crazy mate to win one. But so, thank you all for watching.